kawawman? In this video, ang tatalakayan natin, ano nga ba ang quadratic equation? Paano ba natin sinusulat ang quadratic equation into standard form? AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0. Also, i-identify natin ang A, B, and C value given ang quadratic equation. So, halina't matuto. Ma meron ako ditong mathematical equations. So, ang gagawin natin, let's try to identify the linear equations. Isa-isahin natin. Alright. So, meron na lang tayong limang aanim na natitira at nalipat sa kabila ang tinatawag nating linear equation. Now, ano ba itong mga natitirang mathematical equations? So, itong anim na to ang tinatawag nating quadratic equation. Paano ba natin malalaman na quadratic equation? A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2. Pag sinabi natin degree 2, second degree, ito ang makikita natin. So, pag hindi natin yan nakita, ibig sabihin, pag wala siyang 2 or squared or exponent na 2, ibig sabihin, that is only a linear equation. Now, since meron tayong 2, which is on the second degree, then we can now consider this as quadratic equation. Now, always remember that a quadratic equation can be written. Pwede natin siyang isulat into standard form. Ano nga ba ang standard form? We have ax squared plus bx plus c equal 0. Where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. Tatandaan natin na ang a natin ay dapat hindi siya mag-equal sa 0. Or else, magiging linear equation lamang ito. Note. In standard form, A should be a positive real number. Tatandaan natin yan. Alright. Let's have the parts of quadratic equation. What is AX squared? This is our quadratic term. So, we have three terms in quadratic equation. Now, what, is, what do we call the second term? Bx is the linear term, while C is our constant term. So, in quadratic equation, in standard form, Ax squared is the quadratic term, Bx is the linear term, and C is your constant term, equals zero. Okay. So, let's have an example. Let's try to identify A, B, and C given the following quadratic equation. So, I have here x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, ano nga ba ang A value, B value, and C value of the given quadratic equation? So, A is equal to 1 since we all know that a uh, variable is always the literal the numerical coefficient of the variable is always 1 next b is equal to negative 5 so ito yung nasa gitna and then c is equal to 3 so yan lang am um, paraan ng pagkuha ng A, B, and C. You have to arrange it first into standard form para makuha natin ang value ng A, B, and C. Next, 4M squared plus 4M plus 1 is equal to 0. A is equal to 4. B is equal to 4. C is equal to 1. Next, 
And this give it, give an example, 9r squared minus 25, we do not have the b value. So what will be the b value kapag wala siya dun sa quadratic equation? So our a will be 9, b will become 0, and then c is equal to negative 25. Next. A is equal to 1 half. B is equal to 3. Okay. Dito naman, sa last example natin, kung mapapansin nyo, wala tayong constant term. So, therefore, our C will be 0. Next, how are we going to write a quadratic equation into standard form? So remember, our standard form must be written in ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Okay, given the example x squared plus x equals 4, so ililipat natin si 4 for us to have the value of C and equate it to 0. So we will have now x squared plus x, ililipat natin si 4, so that will become negative 4 is equal to 0. So we can now get the value of A, B, and C. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, C is equal to negative 4. Another example, I have here 7x squared is equal to 1 third x. So again, let us write this quadratic equation into standard form. So we will have 7x squared minus one third x is equal to zero. So ililipat natin si one third x and then equate to zero. One third x will become negative. So we will have now the value of a, which is seven. B is equal to negative one third, and c is equal to zero, since we do not have the value of con the constant term. Next, we have here 6x squared is equal to 9. So let us arrange it into standard form. Lipat natin si 9. So magiging 6x squared minus 9. Remember, nakapag naglilipat tayo ng constant, change the sign kung Luma, luma, tumatawid siya sa equal symbol. So therefore, we will have now A is equal to 6. B is equal to 0 since we do not have the linear term. And then C is equal to negative 9. Next. I have here negative 8x squared plus x is equal to 6. So first, ilipat natin si 6. That will become negative 8x squared plus x minus 6. Kasi magiging negative na si 6. And then equate to 0. Now, remember, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, na ang standard form, your A should be a positive real number. So, since ang A natin dito ay negative, pwede mo siyang i-multiply by negative 1 or pwede rin namang i-divide mo siya by negative 1. So, ang mangyayari lang nito, mag-change lang tayo lahat ng signs. So, yung negative 8 mo magiging Positive 8x squared, yung positive x magiging minus x, 
yung minus 6 magiging plus 6 and then equals to 0. So, we will now have the value of A, which is 8, B is equal to negative 1, and C is equal to 6. Next. So, ito, kakaibang example. So, let's have a uh, twist. So, I have here 3x multiplied by the quantity of x minus 2 is equal to 10. So, we ha will have 3x squared. Paano siya naging 3x squared? Multiply natin si 3x times x. So, when we are multiplying the variable, we are adding its exponent. So, since meron tayong x sa labas at sa loob, magiging 2 na siya. So, squared. So, 3 times 1, that is 3. x and x, that is x squared. Next, saan naman natin nakuha ang minus 6x? 3 times negative 2, that is negative 6. And since we only have x, 1x, so you will just copy x. And then bring down equals 10. Next, ililipat na natin si 10 kasi that is our constant term for us to write the given quadratic equation into standard form. So we will now have 3x squared minus 6x minus 10, remember, it should be negative, is equal to 0. So, we can now get A is equal to 3, B is equal to negative 6, and C is equal to negative 10. Next, I have here the quantity of of 2x plus 5 and x minus 1. So, meron tayong dalawang bi uh, binomial. So, paano natin siya isosolve? So, first, multiply 2x and x. So, that will become 2x squared. Next, multiply 2x and negative 1 or minus 1. That will become negative 2x. And then 5 times x, that is 5x. And then 5 times negative 1, that will become negative 5. Equals 6. So we will now have 2x squared plus 3x. Bakit? Kasi meron tayong negative 2 and positive 5. So magiging positive 3x. So, bakit positive 3? Because 5 is bigger than, uh, the absolute value of 5 is bigger than the absolute value of negative 2. And then, bring down negative 5, bring down negative 6. Next, so ililipat natin si negative 6. So, magiging 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 Plus 6, remember, negative siya. So, pag nilipat natin, magiging positive 6 is equal to 0. Now, since meron tayong dalawang constant term, we will combine these two. So, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0. So, we will now have a is equal to 2. B is equal to 3, and C is equal to 1. Always remember that the standard form must be AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0. Okay, so buka nating sagutan ito. Let's think about this. Consider 3X squared minus X plus 5 is equal to 0. What is A in the equation? So, since naka-arrange na siya into standard form, madali na nating makikita ang value ng A. And that is 3. If A is equal to 0, will the equation still be quadratic? 
No. Kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, if A will become zero, then the value of it will, it will uh, ay mag equal sa zero. So, that will become linear equation na. Next, what is B in the equation? So, B is equal to negative 1. If B, will, if B is equal to 0, will the equation still be quadratic? Yes. We can still have A and C. What is C in the equation? That is 5. If C is equal to 0, will the equation still be quadratic? Yes. Always remember that a quadratic equation must have a second degree exponent. So kahit na ang B at C natin ay mag-equal sa 0, that is still a quadratic Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our WowMath channel. Just keep on watching!